This lesson is on how to solve parallel circuit problems for electronic circuits. Okay, in this example we have a 12 volt uh, power DC power source and two resistors in parallel. In these kinds of uh, questions you could be asked to find the total current in the circuit. You could also be asked to find the current running through branch 1, the current through branch 2, the voltage drops across branches 1 and 2 as well. We first need to find the total resistance in the circuit. Now this is going to be different than working in a series circuit and the formula for total resistance in parallel circuits is 1 over 1 over R1 plus 1 over R2 plus 1 over however many resistors you have. So for our example this is going to be 1 over 1 over 560 plus 1 over 890, which turns out to be 343.7, or we'll round it to 344 ohms. Now, to do this on the calculator, uh, if you have a calculator that has a, a 1 over x button or a x to the minus 1 button, that just means to take the inverse. So you'd enter in 560, hit the x to the minus 1, plus 890, hit x to the minus 1, hit enter, that gives the bottom part of this uh, equation, and then hit the x to the minus 1 button again to take the reciprocal of that, and we get 344 ohms. Now that we have the total resistance, we can use Ohm's law to find current. Remember, Ohm's law is voltage equals current times resistance, V over IR. Since it's current that we're missing, we can cover that up, and it tells us it's voltage divided by resistance. So to find the current, we take 12 volts, our total voltage, divide that by 344 ohms, and we get 34.88 milliamps. We'll round that to 34.9 milliamps. Now that's going to be the total current in the, in the circuit. But remember, that current flows this direction until it gets to this branching point and then some of the current will flow through the first branch and some of the current flows through the second branch. How do we determine how much current flows in each branch? Well, first we're going to solve the voltage drops across resistors 1 and 2. Now if you remember, uh, we used color coding of wires to indicate the voltages or the pressures in those wires. So if you think about this wire here, being attached to the battery, it's going to have a high voltage pressure, 12 volts, because it's attached to that uh, DC source. These wires are touching, so they have to have the same voltage. It shows us that, yes, we have 12 volts at the beginning of, that, of each of those resistors. Now on the other side of the battery, that's the low pressure, or zero, and those wires are also touching, so we know that we have zero volts on the other side of each of those resistors, so how much voltage must be dropped on each resistor? That's right, 12 volts. So in parallel, the voltage drops are the same in each branch. So now that we know the voltage drops in each branch, we can calculate the current in each branch be because we have Ohm's law. So we'll solve current in branch 1 first. To solve current, it's voltage divided by resistance, so we're going to take the 12 volts divide that by, this time, 560 ohms, which ends up being 21.4 milliamps. Now in branch 2, we could take the 34.9 milliamps total and subtract 21.4, or we could do it the same way we did branch 1, 12 volts divided by 890 ohms. And we get 13.5 milliamps, which makes sense. The branch with the higher resistance should have less current flowing through that branch. And that's how you solve a parallel circuit problem.